All right, so uh, this video is going to be about me replacing my starter in my uh, 94YJ. Um, I've looked online for some um, advice, uh, looked at videos, and I couldn't find a 94YJ starter replacement video. I've seen 93s, 95s. Um, I, I've watched those. Uh, I feel like I can try to um, do it, but the reason I'm trying to replace my starter um, and I wanted to make this video is that, you know, if anybody else is in the same situation I'm in where I'm trying to um, crank my, uh, start my uh, engine and the starter has been over the last few months getting slower and slower to start. Um, I've, uh, I've got a, you know, two-year-old battery. I've had it checked twice. Uh, I just replaced my um, seven main battery cables. Um, you can see the other video that I did on that uh, replacement. And I was hoping that might solve the starter slow crank issue, but uh, it's just gotten worse to the point where tonight I uh, feel like it's on its very last uh, few starts that, that it's going to give me. So I went to Napa Auto and picked up a, a reconditioned um, uh, starter, um, and I'm going to give it a shot. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about on the slow crank. I'm going to turn on my lights. You can see that my battery is full. And here we go. So that's the slow crank that I've been having over um, some time and it's just gotten worse to the point where it's uh, sounding like it's not going to start another time. Um, so uh, bought a starter. I have never installed a starter before um, so I wanted to document this but also um, you know again see if this was the solution and if it is hopefully it might help somebody else that has this. Um, slow cranking issue in their 94 YJ. So here's the starter. It's a Napa brand and uh, remanufactured. Um, and I, I liked the idea of being able to uh, turn in my old starter and it would get recycled into another starter uh, or, you know, they'd use, reuse the parts. So um, I opted for this uh, version so that I could, um, you know, recycle my old one. But this is what it looks like straight out of the box. Um, the instructions tell you, uh, it, it recommends uh, doing a, a voltage test, um, a voltage drop test, and then it also has some instructions on shimming your starter, uh, both of which um, I don't plan to do. Um, one, because I don't know how to do either of, the, of those things. And two, I'm hoping this is a plug-and-play situation and it'll fix my problem. But, uh, you know, if, uh, if I'm wrong and I cause a major incident, uh, that's another reason I'm doing this video, so that uh, somebody else might not do the same thing that I did if I end up uh, causing a big problem and I should have uh, done a drop test and... Uh, and shimmed the uh, starter so we'll see so first thing that must be done is disconnect the battery uh, negative terminal so that uh, we don't cause any arcing issues by accidentally you know causing a completed circuit while I'm taking uh, taking off the starter so that's a must one thing I like to do is get a ice cream bucket to put all my um, parts in so that I know right where they're at. And there's the negative. So from the instructions that I understand, uh, what I'll be doing is uh, taking out that red uh, positive battery cable and then the uh, cable underneath it um, and then two bolts and it'll come off.
Alright, here goes. <clears throat> Pretty tight. This one's tight like that. that one. <clears throat> mm, yeah, it's tight. It's coming loose, so I'm gonna hold it with one hand, and I've got some oil leaking out of the bottom of this down here. I wonder if that has something to do with my starter problems. I might have oil. I might have just have a oil. Leak. My engine seems to be leaking a lot of oil. I mean, that is wet with oil. <clears throat> that could be part of the trouble I'm having. Maybe. We'll see. So just so you have an idea of what this looks like, that's the that's what it looks like. And obviously, I've got oil everywhere. So you know, maybe oil's leaking into the starter and causing it to go bad. And but this is uh, the original uh, here. It's a Chrysler, and um, the paperwork on this one says it's a Mitsubishi. Uh, manufactured so I don't know they look very much similar except this one doesn't have a little end cap there whereas this one does um, other than that I mean they look look ready to go look similar here's the new starter and I'm just gonna kind of this kind of fits right in place pretty easily so I'm just going to finger thread these screws in uh, in place just to seat it. Um, one on each side here. Went in fine. Okay, it's installed. Um, what I did is I cleaned up this area before I installed it with a degreaser to try to clean up some of this oil mess. Um, putting it on was fairly easy. It just slipped right in, and then um, I really had to tighten these down just to kind of match the previous tightness. Um, and then I installed the two wires up here um, feels like it's ready to go looks like it's ready to go and let's give it a shot we'll hook up the battery and see if it starts all right looking down from the top uh, battery is reconnected and it starters looking nice and shiny and new so we're gonna give it a go and see what becomes of this thing okay it's the moment of truth we're going to see if our all our problems are solved or we just created new problems. We'll see. Oh, wow. Ha! Huh. What a difference.
All right, so uh, just as a recap, um, I uh, checked my battery twice. Um, I replaced all the battery cables, uh, hoping that either of those things might be the cause before I replace the starter. But you know, um, I just went ahead and did the the starter. Uh, took a leap of faith and just did it and then that seems to be the the fix um which i'm really glad it is because uh i was running out of starts on that last one it was getting really tired um but uh it was pretty straightforward i mean the jeep uh i didn't have to do any of that shimming i think i think the hardest part of this job was um reading those instructions and realizing there was more to a starter sometimes than meets the eye uh, with shimming and testing uh, the uh, uh, you know the power um, but you know I risked it a Jeep is pretty straightforward I, I, in my opinion and uh, this time it, it worked as a plug-and-play item so hopefully uh, that might help somebody out there that was dealing with the same issues I was dealing with but uh, Let's give it another start and call it good on this one.